Shane, it's cocktail time. Where All are right. we? We are at Steak Street in downtown Sarasota. Yeah. Um, so you're trying to get me off my espresso martini. Well, I just thought, we'll you what know we... what? Let's just go for what they're famous for. Okay, well, they say, she said Bramble. The Bramble. And okay. um, we have a wonderful bartender's name is? Lily. 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 All right, we, Lily. We um, have ordered some cocktails. Shane is going off script. I am. And she's getting Bramble, which they have won an award for the last eight years. Eight years. So All right. I'm glad that you're getting that, and, Shane. And what are, you, what are we going to do? I'm going to go ahead and do the Yakasugi Fashioned, which is their smoked old fashioned with Japanese whiskey. Um, it has lavender and it says pipe tobacco smoke. So that right. should be interesting. And then Rob ordered the Dante's Inferno, which Lily said that's what got her into the bartending business. All right. So, and uh, the driver back here is uh, having a water with lemon back here. So yeah. we're. <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, let's get some drinks. Let's get some drinks. Okay. Okay, so Lily, what we got going? Tell us, tell us what you're doing as you're doing it. Okay, perfect. The first one is going to be our Yakasuki Old Fashioned. Okay. It's going to be the Japanese Old Fashioned. It's going to contain some Japanese whiskey. What's um, different about Japanese whiskey? Yeah, that's whiskey. what I was going to ask. So it's kind of like a rice-based whiskey. Oh. Yeah, the bourbon is going to be American, and then like whiskey is like the big family, and then it kind of categorizes in each one. So okay, like, okay. Um, then I'm going to do some Maledi, which is a cane sugar-based liqueur, which gives the sweetness to it. Then it's going to have some Angostura bitters, um, some lavender bitters, and then we're going to put some ice in it. I don't it's think I've had now. anything with lavender bitters. Okay, I have to ask, because I'm not a bit, what is a bitter? Like bitter? what? kind of enhances a cocktail. Okay. So it doesn't have any flavor in it. The best way to taste the bitter is like putting it on your um, palm. So like you do that uh -huh. and you, you, you kind of rub it down and that's how you like can taste it. Oh. Because if not, it's like really, do you want to try it with the lemon? Yeah, do you mind? Yeah, of course. Here, Just interesting to see. All right. Well, interesting for me too here to see you do this. That and okay. rub it on you and okay. then smell it. Ooh. That's how you can taste the bitter. That's the best way to taste bitter. Is by smelling it. Yes, because oh yeah, you, ooh, yeah, because when you taste it, it's yeah, very, very like, bitter, very bitter. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. That's All right. Great. And then we're gonna stir this down. Strain it. And then we're gonna finish it off with a lemon twist. There we go. Gives it. Usually old fashions are done with orange, but um, we just to do something a little different. Oh. We like different. Yeah. It gives it a nice flavor. Well, flavor. I like different. Yeah. And then we're going to smoke it with some <laughs> pipe tobacco, which is in here. Pipe tobacco. What? What's this? Now, my grandfather used to smoke tobacco. So oh, what is it? What type, what type of smell is it? Is it, there just? It, yeah, it smells like tobacco. Like you'll smell, okay. you'll smell it when I smoke it. It has a very peculiar smell. And then I'm going to put it there. Here is our Street logo. Put that right down for you, right there. Ooh, yes, you definitely smell the. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right, we're getting ready for the smoked old fashioned. Perfect. Lily, Ooh. we're ready for cocktail number two. Number two is going to be the Bramble. This is your Bramble. Girl. All right. Yes, ma'am. What do we got? Perfect. So, first of all, I'm going to do. A bit of lemon juice with here. Lemon juice, yummy. Okay. So far, we can recreate it. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Simple syrup. Simple syrup. Okay. We're in business. And then we're gonna do two ounces of gin over here. Mm. Okay, gin is good. There we go. We're gonna add some ice. And then for here, this is gonna have crushed ice, which we have a machine in the back that creates our own crushed ice. So you're gonna crush it with a Blackberry. Add the little crushed ice over there. Ooh, that looks like a snow cone. It yeah, does. It's my kind of dessert. It's already your kind it's of drink. It's my kind of drink. It already is. It's a dessert she knew it. drink. She knew it. I love it. There we go. Oh, look how pretty that is. And then you top it off with creme de mire, which is a blackberry liqueur. Oh, oh that, is, that is a snow cone drink right there. 
That is good. But not for children, snow no, cone. No. We call this the adult slushie. Why do you so. shake some and stir some? So when it contains citrus, you want to kind of break it off, and that's when you, you shake it. Okay. And then when it does not have citrus, um, you want to stir it down like old-fashioned, Manhattan's, like a Yucare, um, Sazerac, anything that ranch. doesn't have citrus, you want to stir it down. Or it's known for like um, vodka-based cocktails to be shaken, but then like because of the James Bond movie, if it's a gin cocktail, you stir it down. Oh. It's, it's like an internal well, joke. How did James Bond take his martinis? He took them. He took them stirred down. If stirred I down. Yeah, okay. if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So before you make the final one, because Miss can't wait Sorry, over here. No. Of course, I want you, you know I like your reaction. The snow cone. So here she goes with her adult snow cone, the bramble. It is so, it is so good. It is, yeah, it's really, oh, really, good. really good. It looks wonderful. Okay. All right. Mm -mm -mm. We have Yummy. one more cocktail to make. I haven't right. tried my smoked old fashioned yet, but. Mm. All right. All right. Mm. Okay, she's Man, going for smoky. the smoked old fashioned here with Japanese whiskey. That smoke will go up your nose at first, but then the whiskey is just different because and smooth. Japanese whiskey is going to be right, it's going to be primarily rice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The bourbon's going to be primarily. I'll stick to corn. my blueberry snow cone. Billy, we've got, whoops, we've got one, one more. more. What cocktail. else are we making? Um, and then this is the Doctor's Inferno, which is a cocktail um, created by our bar manager, Michael. So he's had this on the menu for a couple of years. So I'm gonna start this off with some mezcal. What's the difference between mezcal and tequila? Um, mezcal has more of like a smoky, smoky note to it. Is mezcal aged less than tequila? Or? No, so um, do you, um, mezcal is, yeah. is, is the difference, so tequila is mezcal. Right. Um, mezcal is only for certain regions and the agave plants okay. are harvested and then buried and burnt underground. Um, which is what gives you the smoky flavor, so they just chill it. So, okay, right. well, we inspire, entertain, and educate. That is there our, we go, exactly. <laughs> so we're getting a mezcal education right here. We are doing, uh, yes, <laughs> Cocktails 101 here, yes. education. Yeah. And that had mezcal, lemon, um, spicy bitters, which are the fire water bitters. These are really good. A little honey ginger syrup. So mezcal and tequila are kind of like whiskeys. There's bourbon whiskey, Scotch whiskey, bourbon and yeah, dry whiskey. Yes, just but they're not a Japanese whiskey, yeah, Tennessee but, whiskey. They're all different. Yes. They're all whiskeys. No, tequila and mezcal are not whiskeys. What I'm just saying, like there's all whiskeys, but yeah. they're all different kinds of whiskey. Same with tequila. Yeah, and mezcal. Kinda, yeah, yeah. Okay. It does, yeah well, tequila. It sounds like becoming, it's a stretch, Rob. But well, yeah, tequila has been coming very popular. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and there seems like there's popular. all the different yeah. kinds. Yeah, but and this has got a little kick to it. Yes, sir. Okay. Hence the name Dante's Inferno. We have a driver, we're good. This is really good. Oh! Rather than an old fashioned I love ice cube, it. that's a crushed one. Lemon she put, yeah, right. so I see a little bit of lemon in it too, yeah. Now, have you created your own drinks yet? Yeah, we all come up with like different variations of stuff. Um, one of my favorite ones is like a um, tequila based drink that has, um, what did I put it? I put cucumber tequila, um, I put some St. Germain. Oh, I love St. Germain. It has a little entrevise liqueur, and then I do a spicy rim oh, serve. Cucumbers would go good with gin. Yes, it go, also goes really, really good with um, gin. I just like it. Yeah. It's very herbal, has a little spice to it, not too sweet. Mm. And then this one is the Dante's Inferno. All right. One of my favorite drinks. Let's see what our handler thinks. Is it? Okay. Is it from the mezcal. From the mezcal is smoky. Okay. Well, Lily, thank you so much. We're going to sit here and enjoy our cocktails. Please come back again. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Um, Lily asked. Lily, Lily, how's the bread pudding? Oh, it's lovely. It's yeah. It's made in house. All the breads are made in house. The cookies and 
cream assortment is also fantastic. I know they just wrote an article about that too. Okay. All housemade cookies. Okay. It just really depends what you're in the mood for. Okay, uh, guys. I gotta have I, I gotta have a bread pudding. Bread pudding. Yeah. Bread pudding. But actually, I'm gonna tell you Phil and Annalise's secret was we were researching where we were coming tonight. Um, Shane, when we saw this place, she said, "Oh, I see one that has a bread pudding." So that it wasn't the cocktail. Cocktail and bread pudding. That's all well, yes. I need. Mean. So she is. Uh, did you order it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're starting with bread pudding, everybody. More Absolutely. to come. Absolutely. All right, guys. So we have not had dinner yet. We're and just, let me. Fun fact. It doesn't matter if she's had dinner yet. No. Okay. But look at this. <gasps> Look at this beautiful bread pudding. I'm having dessert first, so let's uh, let's test it out and see what we think here, Michelle. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's got some uh, yummy sauce here. Let me. I'm going to tilt the camera down so we can. All right, so it's got some yummy sauce right here. I don't know what this is, but we will taste it. We could try Cafe Epicure with them. Mm. I, we've never been, okay, and you know on. what? It looks good. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, crispy, soft. Okay, we got our place. Oh. oh. Cafe Epicure, Italian. All right. Oh, wait, you're, you're filming. You're... I am filming. I, actually, is do I see the smoke? smoke? It is nice and hot. What is drizzled all over it? Is that raspberry? Mm. Caramel oh, the, that's that's caramel mascarpone drip. Okay, all right. Well, she well, when she comes up for air, we will find out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And there's no. Uh, um, I don't think there's any. I don't know how to describe yeah, we'll it. Joe, get a fork. Oh my gosh, it's like crunchy on the outside, warm. Okay, I'm coming in for a bite. Now oh I will God. tell you, I typically oh. am not a dessert. Who's who's Valentine's Day? Oh, okay, okay. Valentine's Day was their anniversary. All right, all right. Okay, I'm coming in for a bite of her. Oh dinner. my gosh, oh my God, it is crunchy. It's crunchy and soft the in the center. Yeah. It is amazing. It is amazing. I have never had a bread pudding like this. That's a winner. That is amazing. That's a winner. Good temperature too. Oh my, oh my gosh. It oh, is that crunchy on the outside. The crunchy on the outside. Because that is my biggest pet peeve, okay? What? With a bread pudding. Okay. It's either it too mushy. mushy. Yes. Too mushy too and bite. too hard. Okay. But this one has a perfect consistency of both. Okay. Of crunchy, don't you Rosa think? Rosa dessert guys. There you go. You got it. Right. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 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 It's that legit, a, everybody. That, it's that, legit. That is a solid winner. So mm -hmm. don't ever worry about people thinking about just eat your dessert first. Who cares? They say who said have let them eat cake. Who said that? I don't know. Who? Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake. We are adding in, Shane Schaefer says, let them eat dessert first and let them eat bread pudding. You heard it here, everybody. Oh my gosh. That bon appetit, girl. Hey, you gotta go right here. If you're in Sarasota, you gotta go right there and get your bread pudding. Dessert? Just get dessert. Just get cocktails, cocktails and, dessert. and dessert. We're in the no judgment zone here. Mm, yummy. Happy Easter. All right, yes. so what you what do you what do you got down there? All right, so besides dessert, they we went for got appetizers. we went for an appetizer and we went for the crawfish dip. It's Cajun Mornay, peppers, onion, celery, and dewy, which is a sausage, potato crisp, and toast points. So we're gonna dig in. Rob, what do you think? Good. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, look at the little potato crisps. Those, I was like, I wasn't sure what those were. Shane, the steam might be coming off your bread pudding, but it's coming off this appetizer, too. All right, all right. Okay. I'm going to have to try it. Okay. Mm. This bread pudding is to die for. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, the berries. Mm. This has berries with bread pudding. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do you got? Delish. I'm what giving you, you some. All right, here, here's your little plate right here. I'm giving you some. All it's right. It's crawfish. Yeah. It's, you're going for it. Particular. You're going for it. It's crawfish, right. but you'll like it because you like shrimp. You'll like it. Not to worry about texture. It's all covered I'm in goodness. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to eat. You guys, she's got texture issues. It's hot, though. Oh, hot. But it's got that cream sauce. Hmm? Yeah, mm. not sure. Mm. Yes, we thank are. you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You okay? Okay, what's going on? It is good. The shrimp is a little, it's just a little chewy. It's okay. It's good, though. It does have a little chew to it. We've got previous episodes with her with the chew. She's a tech, it's a texture thing for her. Uh huh. But it is good. I love the sauce. The the flavor in the mm. sauce is spot on. The sauce is very, very Joe, yummy. would you like a little bit? Yeah. Uh -uh, okay. Try it? No? Okay. Mm. This is sauce alone. Good flavor, mm -hmm. huh? It's got those little crispy potatoes. They do little like, you guys know those shoestring potatoes on top? Different things. We like different things. It is different. The sauce is really good though. Oh yeah, delicious. Mm -hmm. So. All right. All right, well, stop one in the books. Yeah, I'm almost done. Mm. What? Almost done, it's so good. Have you had help on that? Please tell me. I don't know, we may have to order the cookies. So I can feel good about it, tell me you've had help. You've had help. All right. I always bring the, the handler here to I will to be eating dessert at that. We're going for Italian food next, everybody. So That's yes. okay, I'll yeah, do right, dessert okay. again. Yeah. Stay tuned. Um, and we had cocktails, we had dessert, and we had an appetizer. But we found out from Jason, who is a sommelier, is he the manager? I think he is. Because I think he, he might be. He, he was, said uh, watching us film. He said, "Ladies, you're only in 25% of our space. Yeah. We have a full lounge that is a different vibe, and we're like, we're here for it. Let's so go. So come on. All right, we're going in." Oh, no, that's what I like. It's a different ladder. vibe in here. I, I, I like yeah. the ladder. Look how cute that is. Now we're talking in here. Oh, what do you mean? We have to come back and do it. We have to have another oh, drink. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's go back here. Okay. This is a really nice vibe. And you know what, Shane, I noticed in here it's nice and cool for you. It is cool. And it, it is cool, yeah. A tequila fashion. Oh, look at that thing that's called penicillin. That looks interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah, all, right. all right, let's go back here and see what we got. Yeah. Oh, look at these bottles. Uh, oh. you know, I said, said before that spirits bottles are the best, and Rob, one of our handlers, whistle pig. <gasps> that is a good bourbon. Hey, 
plug for Grand Floridian oh. Enchanted Rose. They make an old fashioned with whistle, whistle pig. pig. It's top, top shelf, Shane. Top All shelf. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, look at this one down there. What is that? I don't know. That's what that neat is. looking. Okay. I like the bottles. Okay. We so like the bo Boss Hog. Oh, that's a whistle pig, too. Rob's probably going to have to come over here and look at these. Oh, okay. that is very cool. All, All right. right. There, so. There's a nice little lounge area around this side. Let's mm -hmm. go around the side. Check and the there was a big out. light that you missed. Oh, I missed a light? Well, we'll see it on the way out. Oh. Oh, look how cool. Okay. Oh. This is, okay, dark woods, paneling, leather. When you think old school whiskey, bourbon bar, this is it. You guys, I think this is it. All right, all right. So you got, right. yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so is there always a deer? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. More spirits bottles, girl. Look at the bottles. Now, if we were connoisseurs of the, we're not connoisseurs. <laughs> in our own minds, maybe. In our own minds. Oh. Um, okay, Michter's Bourbon. I know that because of All right. who I'm married to. I do know that. Elijah Craig, I know that. I told you I know about Whistle Pig. Um, I, gin, I'm not familiar with gin. All right. Well, this is a lovely location. It's Look at that. really nice. Yeah. Come in here for a nice cocktail. Yeah. Well, so... Yeah. Uh, now the light shame was when we came in that big oh, circular. Oh wait, wait, wait! Yeah, I gotta check circular. the light. Oh, the bubble light. <gasps> oh, look at that! There's just a whole bunch of lights like put together. Uh huh. That is awesome. Uh huh. All up right. here comes the bourbon man. Here comes the bourbon man. Okay, let's get his opinion. All right, all right. All right, we need your bourbon man. We need your opinion. Come back here and check something out with us. Come on back. Talk to us about what you know. Are you familiar with the Boss Hog Whistle Pig? Yeah, it's like about $200 bottle this year. $200? It's probably more than that. It's probably, it's probably more than that. It's, you think it's more than that? I think it's probably more than that. Okay. Probably I told you that he knew and he loves his Whistle Pig. Right there, Several yeah. of the, well, we see, they're yeah, every, it's so everywhere. Well, the Boss Hog is Whistle Pig. It is. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the high end. Michter's, you're Michter's, familiar with that? Yes, yeah, so I am probably. Okay. All right. Okay. So, are you familiar with Jefferson's Reserve? Because Jefferson's Bourbon is, has a sign. I am. And All right. When, when you see the Kentucky Derby, you'll keep seeing Jefferson's Reserve. Okay, Shane. At the Kentucky Derby, they're I, drinking. That's hey. That is on my. That's on my bucket list. Yeah. Well, it's in May. We got to do that. We my won't. Birthday. It won't be this year. All right, guys. We. Uh, I think we're. Oh my goodness. I think we've wrapped this. Location. We're gonna wrap it. And we got to go eat. All right, well, that's our quick take on yes. the State Street. State um, Street, um, on the outside of this is his package liquors and lounge. But again, um, a must do if you want a nice creative cocktail in a really cool environment. And, absolutely. Um, hey, dessert yeah. with your cocktail. Again, we're not judging. Who needs dinner? Just Who needs dessert? dinner? Although we are going to dinner. Um, but yeah, a great spot. It is one block over from Main Street. A lot of people know Main Street for the main restaurant, Rowan Sarasota. This is literally one block over. We actually backdoored somewhere else and stumbled stumbled in here. So all good. So Shane? Let's go have some dinner. Let's go have some dinner. A wrap on State Street. That's Make all right. your moments magical. In uh, Sarasota and beyond. Till next time.